Embracing New Media and Language Learning Developing language skills is a key enabler in the global economy. Even as the rise of the internet, smartphones, and other technology, the world is becoming smaller but as it always has, language can present itself as a barrier. As English is still the de facto global language thanks to its common business, use are at time that TEFL providers adapt to the modern world and embrace new media to not only improve existing techniques, but develop new ones and embrace existing online communities? Definition of the new media What is new media? New media is defined as products and services that provide information or entertainment using computers or the internet, and not by traditional methods such as television and newspapers. As discussed during the course, the key to ensuring student progression is to maintain motivation and interest during lessons, one of the key tools to develop and maintain this is the use of games and communication activities. These are areas that new media thrive in, by its very nature it's interactive and current. Analysis and Evaluation While many language schools have adapted to new media through the development of online courses delivered through Skype, online course books, and language games, are they missing a trick? Over the last few years, there has been a rise in the use of smartphone apps for language learning, these take many forms, but they can roughly be divided into two groups, traditional and gamified. Where traditional apps utilize the mainstream teaching approach with vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation drills and activities with heavy use of realia, such as Rosetta Stone and Babel. While gamified apps take a gamification approach, and try to reduce the drill approach and utilize games where appropriate, and where not appropriate the add elements of gaming into it via progress mechanics, such as points, leaderboard badges, narrative elements and leveling up. These gamified apps have proved to be very popular with students, as in 2008 nearly 170 million Americans played computer games to achieve multiple learning goals, spending almost $12 billion. And as we can see from research, these are not wasted dollars, as those using gamification platforms performed better overall and in particular in practical assessments. Tools Other areas of new media that have been thoroughly utilized by TEFL professionals, are the communication-based tools that the internet provides, such as Skype and other video and voice conferencing software, allowing for decentralized learning and learning on demand. While these services have their supporters, many feel this reduces the benefits of having access to a native speaker. These criticisms are aimed not only at technical limitations such as poor connectivity, but on more key elements such as the difficulties in fostering a community and rapport in general, which as discussed during the course can be the difference between a good and bad class. As well as more fundamental issues of not having visual or social cues on when students are struggling, plus it's harder to control a class from being distracted by external interferences. In addition to Skype, the internet has been a key resource for TEFL teachers, and the benefits and limitations have been discussed at length during the modules on this course. While these areas of new media have been embraced and utilized by TEFL providers, there are still areas that could be utilized effectively, while mainly focused on young to young adult learners, they could prove to be very useful. One area that may prove to be useful, is to focus further on games, in particular the use of mainstream games with alternate language settings. In the same way, that films provide access to natural and authentic language in a current and engaging manner, games can provide even greater benefit due to their interactive nature. A student can see and understand the effects of their interactions, this harks back to natural language learning of young children. However it must be noted that not all games are suitable for this, and should contain at least some narrative story, or a mix of text and audio options. There have been numerous studies on the benefits of games in relation to language learning, while mainly focused on specialist computer-aided language learning games, they do highlight the benefits of this approach, with its rule-based approach and natural discovery of language. In addition to this, some games improve further upon this, with the addition of native non-educational speakers to a narrative-based environment with massively multiplayer online role-playing games, as this provides additional natural language in an unpredictable yet controlled manner, the context is controlled even if the language isn't. Furthermore, having a game interface may provide a benefit to some learners, as there is a barrier to embarrassment, and allows students to save face when trying a new language and attempting fluency. This may be particularly beneficial with shy students, or where cultural issues might prevent attempts in traditional scenarios, due to fear of failure. While this approach may have benefits, 
It may be hard to convince the main stakeholders in TEFL to utilize these tools, as TEFL is a business and utilizing games in this way may not be seen as professional, and parents of young students may not be particularly pleased with their children using games in this manner. Do you want to teach English abroad? Take a TEFL course today. However, we can take elements of the mechanics of these new methods of learning into the classroom. Gamification is not limited to online platforms but can be utilized in classroom-based activities as well. In fact, a key component of TEFL could be considered gamification on a base level, with its high use of games and motivational systems. Perhaps we as TEFL teachers can utilize more elements of this methodology within our classrooms, and utilize narrative and progression mechanics to help drive motivation through some of the more difficult aspects of English learning, as well as drive more creative role-play elements, to maintain motivation and develop entertaining and rewarding language learning for all. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.